Yes, yes, people, it's yours and truly, Laser LFC. And we're outside Liverpool Football Stadium. The cup end right behind me. The weather is glorious. The sun shines out. But you know what we're here for tonight? The Champions League is back, baby. Under the lights. Tonight at 8 p.m. And Liverpool are playing the seven times champions of Europe. AC Milan. Yes, we know they're not the team of yesteryear, but make no bones about it. This ain't going to be an easy game tonight. Now, I'm expecting a few changes for tonight's game. Maybe we might have Keita coming in, making way for Harvey Elliott, because as you know, he was injured in the previous game in the Premier League against Leeds United. And the possibility of Robertson being arrested for Simicast. The front feet picks itself, Jota in the middle. Mane in his usual position and Salah to the far right. Now hopefully Liverpool can get after a flyer. A great start in his Champions League group stage encounter. Get the three points on board and then we move on to the Premier League this coming Saturday against Crystal Palace. Now people, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe. It's Laser LFC, LRFC. People look at this stage, the cup. The magnificent stadium of Liverpool, one of the greatest stadiums in the world. It don't get better than that, people. Our strength lies within. You know what to do, people. So it's yours and truly, Laser LFC. Until the next time, people, I'm out. Yes, yes, people, you know who it is. L to the A to the Z to the E to the R. Mr. Laser. And I'm reporting for LRFC slash Laser LFC. And you know where we are? We're outside the legendary Liverpool Stadium, the Cup End. Tonight's game is going to be a Champions League group stage encounter. Liverpool are expected to make changes, but we don't know what the team is starting lineup is as of yet. I'm expecting for me personally, Matip to be rested. Maybe Konante could come in, do the job. You know, he's had experience in the Champions League before for RB Leipzig. And maybe the possibility of Robertson being rested for Simicast. Front three picks itself. And we know Harvey Elliott's going to be out injured. So I'm expecting Keita possibly to come in. Yes, yes, people. It's yours and truly, Laser, alongside my partner in crime, Mr. Fuzzy. Fuzzy, how are you doing? And how does it feel to be here together for a big European game? outside Anfield under the lights tonight at 8 p.m. how does bro, it feel bro it's a dream come true isn't it it's a dream come true like, like we've, we've been waiting for days like this for years and now we're getting the chance to actually come on and watch Liverpool in this beautiful stadium in the Champions League against the mighty AC Milan yes and not only that we're doing our bits outside the stadium as well that's right fuzzy and yes as you were saying the mighty ac milan you know the history between the both teams everybody and i mean every football fan is aware of 2005 yeah. the magnificent story of Istanbul, liverpool coming down from three goals to nil and lifting number five stevie g the captain but that's all in the past now we know ac milan is not the team the ones where the last time they won the Champions League was in 2007 in Athens, beating the team Liverpool. But now AC Milan have had a long absence from the Champions League. They are our welcome addition back into the Champions League. If my memory serves me correct, it's something like eight years. So it's good for Milan to be back. It is actually good for European football. But Liverpool must do the business tonight and not underestimate AC Milan. How do you see it going down for us from the get-go? Listen, I've, I've, we've talked about this before and I, and I told a lot of people about AC Milan is an unknown team. We don't know how they play, we don't know how they're going to perform and somebody's coming from your left-hand side uh, who's, who's one of us. And um, I, I, I've always said it, what we need to do first is win this game and then try win the second one and then we could at least put the, you know, the weaker team afterwards on there. That's what I'm looking forward to. I'd rather like 
win the first few games, and then we move on to the next round, and then just put, bring the you know uh, you know the likes of Oxlade, Origi, and all them whoever yeah. they, like yeah. wants to play. I hear what you're saying. Stages. What we don't want to be, we don't want to find ourselves in the same position two years ago. Ironically, we won the Champions League with the goal coming from Mohamed Salah when we played. La Napoli, I was about yeah. to say Laxio then, Nap Napoli, and we had that magnificent save coming from Alisson right at the death, everything fell into place for Liverpool, Liverpool don't want to find themselves in that predicament because believe it or not, we do struggle against teams like Atletico Madrid yeah. and a lot of people are fearing these games already back to back, we have two away games back to back, but we must do the job tonight, Liverpool must do the job against AC Milan, they move on forward to the Premier League against Crystal Palace yeah, this sir. coming weekend and then we take one game at a time. Fine. That's what it's all about for me, man. That's right, Fuzzy. All right, Laser, thank you. <laughs> people, you know what to do, people. Can't stress it enough. Hit that like button and subscribe. LRFC is yours and truly, Laser LFC. I'm out of here. Yes, yes, people. It's yours and truly, Laser LFC. And you know what we're here for tonight? The big Champions League group stage encounter between Liverpool FC and the seven times champions of Europe, AC Milan. As you can see, I'm with AC Milan and his name is... It's Bruno. How are you, Laser? You're good? I'm doing very well, man. Thank you for your time and thank you for the opportunity to, to interview you. So, Bruno, how does it feel being outside Anfield to watch your team play oh, at this legendary stadium? Man, it's amazing, man. I was waiting seven years this moment, bro. And it's amazing, like, beat uh, the last... Uh, Champions League, uh, Liverpool and see here in Liverpool again my team play man, it's such an honour. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. So, how does the team shape up, how does AC Milan shape up for tonight's game? Well, we're getting good man, we're getting better, like uh, we've got few heads really playing very well. And um, I don't see, I'm forward for the match, uh, I can't hear and enjoy, I'm pretty sure you're gonna smash us, but Let's see. So, so you don't have no faith in your old team? I, I, I fade, I have faith, man. I have faith, but uh, I, I think positive. I say, like, gonna be a good game. Gonna yes, be a good it's game. certainly gonna be a good game. Well, there's rumors circling the internet that Slatan Ibrahimovic is gonna be out. Now, is that my game? Or is he is certain to be out? He got injured uh, in the train last day. And uh, let's see, we have Jiru, and uh, you have a song. Sha la 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 Giroud has terrorised Liverpool in the past. He's done it for Arsenal FC, and he's done it for Chelsea. And to be honest with you, Giroud is underappreciated by a lot of football fans. You know, he's not a glamorous name, like the likes of, let's say, Messi, Ronaldo's, you know, Ibrahimovic, for example, but he's an efficient in front of goal. He gets the job done. Do you expect him to be potent tonight? Yeah, that's the point, the Lazy. He's actually not starting from the beginning. Uh, he's start, gonna be start Rebic. We're gonna see if he has space, maybe in the second half, and like, put some uh, goal in, yeah. in it. Yeah, so, so who do you fear? from Liverpool, who are the danger areas for Liverpool where your team AC Milan have to be careful of? That crazy Egyptian man, that fucking crazy <laughs> Egyptian <laughs> was playing for Roma and I was uh, in love with him when playing with Roma. The king. Salah, Salah, today gonna be the king and we'll see Salah. that. So Bruno, it's a pleasure to interview you, thank you for oh, your it was time. A pleasure too, man. The best team win, you heard Bruno giving his thoughts on AC Milan and you know who it is, Laser LFC people, you know what to do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, Smash LRFC, it. my partner in crime fuzzy, Liverpool vs AC Milan, under the lights, Anfield Stadium, 8pm, Champions League, be there, until the next time people, peace, I'm gone. Yes, yes, people, you know who it is back again, Mr. Laser, and I'm outside Anfield Stadium. We're here tonight for the big Champions League encounter between AC Milan and Liverpool. Liverpool, the six times champions of Europe. AC Milan, the seven times champions of Europe. Yes, we know AC Milan ain't the team of yesteryear, but we must not underestimate them. But I'm not here alone. I'm here with two Liverpool fans that go by the name of... My name's Anthony. My name is Chris. Anthony and Chris, thank you very much for giving me your time. It's a lovely, pleasure, lovely, man. lovely day today. The sun's out. Yeah, the vibes are out. <laughs> everyone's jolly. Everyone's nice and buzzing. I can't wait for this game, man. It's been too long. 
back in the Champions League under the lights in front of a crowd. You know, we had the pandemic that restricted it. You know, it was playing in empty stadiums and it wasn't the same with our 12th man. But first and foremost, guys, how do you see the game shaping up tonight? Uh, you've always you've always got to respect AC Milan, but I've, I've got too much love and pride for this team. I'm going to go 4-0 for Liverpool. I think we're in the we're, we're at the peak um, of our performance at the moment, and I just think AC Milan just seem to get, go up and down, regressing, inconsistent. They've got no Ibrahimovic tonight. He's out with injury. Without the big man up front, you know, offense is the best way of defense. So I'm going to yeah. go 4-0. We're just going to conquer the game. But the way you're saying 4-0, and this is not to discredit your opinion, We've been here before Liverpool, as if you cast your memory back to two seasons ago. In the group stage, we played Salzburg, the team that Minamino we signed from. If you remember, Liverpool went three goals up and it went back to 3-3 three, three in yeah. that game. Sometimes can Liverpool can get complacent. Get the, exactly. So all these high score lines, 3 nils, 4 nils, spied about. We can't get too over cocky, overconfident, and then it bites us on the ass. You know, sometimes I think, Liverpool does that. I think the only difference you've got here is that, you know, in that Salzburg game, this is before we started winning, you know, trophy after trophy. This is before we started winning Champions Leagues and Premier Leagues. I think that was a difference maker from us. We were really good at, at winning games and going 3-0 up, yeah. but then that inconsistency caught us. Yeah. Now, we cut that out and that's how we managed to become champions and we have the maturity now to be able to go 3-0 up, 4-0 up and keep it 4-0 up. Good word. Sense. So, who's going to be goal scorers? Um, Gareth, before we move on to Chris, who's going to be goal scorers tonight? The Egyptian King getting on. You know what? Obviously, the Egyptian King's always there. Um, I'm going to go uh, one for Salah. I'm going to go one for Big, Mac Van, uh, Big Man Van Dyke. Yeah, uh, calm loves, as you like. Mr. Corner. Calm yeah, yeah. as you like. He loves a good corner. Um, and then I'm going to go two for Mane because he's been up and down with his confidence. He yeah. needs, man, two goals yeah. against AC Milan at home under the lights. First game in Europe back in a while. That would that would that would set him up for the season. Oh, lovely job, Lee. And then we got the game against Palace on the weekend. So we're gonna go over to you now, Chris. How are you feeling, Chris? How does it feel to be back at Anfield for a Champions League encounter? Best, 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 very best. I can't say more. I mean, that's my first time in Anfield. Oh, nice. It's my nice. first time. Yeah. I'm not from here, I'm coming from Cyprus. Okay, lovely, welcome, All the welcome way to I Anfield. I came from Cyprus for this game. What can I say? Brilliant, and, you've, seen, and like, you've got a good day for it as well. Very nice, very nice. <laughs> Maybe it's almost very like nice. holiday with a hand yeah. today. <laughs> I've seen that for the first time in my life, live. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. I, so, don't, I don't know if I'm gonna keep. You've got to cherish these memories, man. It's a special I'm, place. Because look, let's be honest, Liverpool is a worldwide institution, one of the biggest clubs in world football. Is, they yes. are and they're hugely supported all over the world, no matter where people come from, you know. Yep. <laughs> Liverpool LFC. So Chris, what's gonna be your score prediction for this game tonight? How do you see it going down? Well my prediction was even before I came here. 3-1. 3-1. 3-1. No way we're losing tonight. No I'm yet way. to encounter any fan that's saying we're losing no or even uh, drawing. Liverpool, <laughs> in Europe, at Anfield, we're not losing if my life depends on it. Oh, okay. no I'm going to hold Big you words. to that, Gareth. Big words. I say that with my chest. I say that with my chest. <laughs> you heard what Gareth said, people, and you heard what Chris. Really appreciate your time, lads. Very good words said there. Guys, Liverpool ain't going to lose, according to Chris and Gareth. 4 0 victory. Gareth predicts. 3-1 victory, Chris Bridges. For me, I think it's going to be two goals to the good. Liverpool get the win and then we move on to Crystal Palace on Saturday. Please, guys, hit that like button, share and subscribe. LFC Red Forever Community Channel. You know who it is, Laser LFC. Until the next time, guys, peace. Yes, yes, people. It's yours and truly, Mr. Laser. And I'm outside Anfield Stadium for tonight's game. Liverpool versus AC Milan in the Champions League group stage. I'm here with a young Liverpool fan. Um, my name is Jensen. Thanks for your time, Jensen. How does it feel, um, Liverpool, playing in the Champions League for the first time with a crowd since nearly two years? Are you confident for tonight's game? Is Liverpool going to do the job tonight? Um, I think it's going to be um, a good game. I hope we come out with good results of um, the match. Um, and I hope we play well. Who's going to score the goals for Liverpool tonight? Um, I reckon it's going to be Salah, Mane and Benino. So, 3 nil score line. Lovely. And do you think Milan's going to trouble Liverpool or do you have faith in Van Dijk and Matip at the back? Um, I think they might try and get past 
the um, defense from um, the um, wings. Um, but um, I think all the defense is lovely stuff thank you for your time you heard the young lad he predicts liverpool are going to win by three goals to nil so you know what to do people please smash those like buttons and please subscribe to the channel lrfc liverpool red forever community channel and you know who it is your boy laser lfc and don't forget my partner in crime fast and the cameras guys Please show some support and hit us up on our social media platforms as well. Peace! Yes, yes, people. It's yours and truly L to the A to the Z to the E to the R. Mr. Laser and reporting for LRFC, Liverpool Red Forever Community Channel. We're outside Anfield Stadium for the big Champions League encounter between Liverpool and AC Milan. I'm here with a Liverpool fan, Steve. Steve, thank you for your time. How does it feel to be back at Anfield for this Champions League game under the lights? It feels absolutely unbelievable, especially when you get an evening like this. Clear sky and hopefully three points for the Reds tonight. Three points. So, what would you do different? Would you keep the same team he for the previous to. game? Minus, obviously, Harvey Elliott. Or would you tinker? What would he you do? He has to keep the same team. Like, we've conceded one goal all season with this team, you know what I mean? He has the Carabao Cup coming up next week. He has Palace at home the weekend. He can make his changes then, but he has to go full strength tonight. A lot of our fan base are saying that. Me, personally, I would tinker a little bit. And that's no disrespect to AC Milan. I just no, think 100%. we have to manage the squad accordingly. It's going to be a long, long haul this season. So who are going to be the goal scorers tonight, Steve? I think Jota for first goal, personally. Um, Maybe Rebic for Milan, and I think we're going to sneak it 2-1. We're going to concede? I think, yeah, I think we might, actually. This is a good Milan team, you know what I mean? They're probably the best team in Italy at the minute. They yeah. bet Lazio 2-0 the weekend, they're very, very good. They've got a really good squad. Great stuff, Steve. Thank you for your time. You heard Steve, he predicts a 3-1 victory to Liverpool FC. Can Liverpool get off to a flyer in this group stage encounter and get the three points and then move on to this weekend's game against Crystal Palace in the Premier League? Guys, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to the platforms. It's yours and Julie, Laser LFC, alongside Steve, the Liverpool fan. Until the next time, people, you know what's coming. Peace. I'm out.